drum row okay okay welcome back this is your boy the rag geek yep we're still in the office bro you know and uh today we're just picking out from where we left off and uh in the previous video what we did we did the truss layout for a simple gable roof i showed you how to place these trusses and if you didn't see this video or that video please click on the link above you see at the top at the corner there 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 bro just click on the link and you can get, just jump to my previous videos and get a hang of what we were doing before before you jump to this video so don't feel you know intimidated or anything just feel free pause the video and then just jump to the previous video and then come back to this one so what we're going to be doing today in this video is we have this simple hip roof or simple hip roof that we have i told you we could be doing the same today we could be doing this or we could be doing this but i'm just thinking to myself dude let's just do the simplest one the smallest one and we can get this done as quickly as possible so like in the previous video what i didn't do is i didn't do it correctly so what i'm just going to do is i want to select this and i'm just going to offset it by 230 so that we have 230 walls so this would be our walls so that we have a clear representation or more for good representation of the roof so this is the ridge and these lines that are going to 45 degrees are the hips so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you like this is now so what we have what you have this side is what they call the layout as you can see just look at my cursor on the screen fortunately I don't have that funny color pencil to just show you but this is the layout this is what you would see and um, okay I think we actually want to do this one this is what you would see on the ground okay and this is the layout and then this is the actual truss trusses when you strip down the roof you just remove the red dress in this case it's the blue or funny beige gray type of color you're looking at 50 shades of gray baby <laughs> I'm just joking anyways so what you want to do is this is the layout this is what the contractor uses in their drawings so that they visualize okay this is how things will be going this is how we supposed to lay out the trusses you know if you were a beginner of it's a carpenter they will be told okay in, in carpentry school when you see a drawing that's like this this is a jack rafter this is a truss this is what this is what you lay so you as the engineer also you have to have a understanding of what you are telling someone because if you're giving someone instructions, they're only as good as the instructions you give. So your drawings have to be proper because your drawings are your voice. Okay, so what we're going to do is we want to create the layout. So let's just jump straight into it. So like previous videos, what we do is we need to let's just copy this. You know, I like to work on a space that's not too crowded. Okay, so there we go. So with... Uh, with the hip drift now, you don't start in the middle. You have to start somewhere else. What happens is where your hips and uh, the ridge meet, you create a line. There you go. Guess to there. Just make sure it's from overhang to overhang. Right? And then you copy this line as well. And then you put it there. So what you are doing in essence is in reality or on the ground, what you are doing is you are creating or putting this full trust that you can see just look at the hand go just look at the hand go it's rubbing the rafter please don't think about the hand and the shaft i know some of you homies out there prefer to you know i'm not gonna say it but you know like to have your sweet time with lady five fingers but yo please don't visualize that so like i was telling you when you this you need to put this truss first of all because this is the last pick truss that this roof will have and also the reason why we put the truss first is because at where your hips meet the ridge that's where you have the most load bro so you want to just take care of that so once you have the truss you're good to go so what other people normally do is once they have the truss then if it's a concrete roof they start going 750 okay 750 750 750 750 750 750 and this one is now a little bit tricky but what i like to do personally is i don't do that this is what i do i go to the midpoint 
I get the or what I could have done was just copy this from the midpoint to the midpoint and then what I do is I get my 750 then I go then so I do a 750 this side 750 this side you know 750 this side uh, 750 this side and then 750 this side 750 this side or another trick that I like to do is let me just remove these I'm just trying to teach you all the tricks is I start from there which is my favorite so what I do is now 750 750 from there 750 from there and 750 from there now you come and then you go 750 from there 750 from there and 750 from there so why I do this is because if you're gonna check this gives you the most symmetric and best layout because what you have is you have the smaller spaces in the middle and I told you it doesn't matter if the um, spacing is less than 750 it just means you do the roof is gonna be tighter tight and it's like a tight and if you watch NFL dude I'm talking about ground ski you know this is not Brady or anything man ground rock the big old grunk tight end bro you know what I mean so yeah but everything else is 750 750 as you can see that's 750 so that's what you do okay so the other thing that we need to tell you is with this one what you do is you come and highlight the one at the hip or the one at the peak of the triangle and then you offset that by 50 going back 50 going back so the point about doing that is that you see uh, let me just offset this by 750 there we go this shows that oh my god we actually had it so let's just delete this one so when you offset your lines by 50 what you're just trying to say is um, this truss that's at this location we will have two chords right and when we talked about codes remember when we were talking about trusses I still remember when we were talking about trusses, general truss, I said it has a bottom cord and a top cord. So when you show it as a double lines or as two lines like that, you're just saying you have two bottom cords, okay? But they will be joined to each other. They will be joined to each other to act as one cord, and then these top cords will be joined to those bottom cords. So what you're just trying to do is like you have one sausage at the bottom, and then you get another sausage, bro. You feel then it acts as one okay that was not good what I'm just trying to say is these things will act like slices of bread so usually when you have a truss the bottom cord is just made up of one slice of bread but now when you have uh, two lines what you're just trying to say is you have two slices of bread as your bottom cords but then you just have one slice on either side as your top cord so two slices as your bottom cords and then you have one slice from the other end one slice from the other end meet another pick so that's what this representation shows you and as i told you i like to have my colors in cyan cyan but then um with this one now what we do is, is i have it in red the reason why i told you is at that peak that's when you have a lot of load bro so whatever any trust that carries a lot of load i like to have it in red let me just check on the time okay so we still eight I think about seven minutes more but we will just pause it and just go to part three if we taking too much time so now that you have your trusses laid out like this this will be full end trusses right so these trusses will be similar to the gable roof trusses they will just be the same as this truss in 3d when you skin the drawing you're just saying you have this trust so with the hip roof now it's not similar to the what do you call this it's uh the gable roof so the next thing after you do this you have to come to your walls right so you come to the inner part of your walls you create that line and then once you have that line you gotta offset that line now since we were offsetting by 750 you offset this one by 1500 so the rule of thumb you have to remember is that what you're doing is you're offsetting these lines by double the value that you were offsetting the inner trusses so you have said that by 1500 you just do the same what you got to do is just mirror this this is the midpoint do that it's the same because you do the same for the both side because these ones are symmetrical right and obviously you want them to extend to the overhang so you just come in make sure it extends to the overhang and it goes to the overhang and now the next thing that you want to do is now people are asking me what exactly is this thing that you just put on the screen so this thing that you see that's on the screen this is what we call the hip gibber. 
if you still remember I showed you yesterday I showed you yesterday these things it's called the hip kidder this is the hip kidder and when we're looking at the drawing as you can see this 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 truss just look at the hand look at the hand as you go and then it goes horizontal this side and then it starts dropping now it's called the hip kidder the reason why it's called a hip kidder is because it carries a lot of trusses i'm going to show it carries a lot of trusses so it's a kidder so in that case it also carries a lot of load right so once you do is after you create these trusses that serve the main ridge because the purpose of these trusses is to support the ridge which is this line okay the ridge line so this trust is support the ridge line so the ridge line is taken care of the next thing you want to go is create the hip kid so what we did is we just created the hip kid and you want to offset it by 750 okay and then the next thing that you want to do after you do that is to go back to your pick truss or what i also call it the gitter because it carries a lot of load right so then you highlight that and then you offset this by 750 right then you go 750 750 and that's a 750 so now you have an option what you can do the best way to just go about this is you just since it's very close to the gitter what you just do is you now just select this and then you delete it because 1500 is good but if you can actually have it uh way way much much more much further away from your walls is better as well so as we see let me just control z on that control z so the initial hip gitter that we did we offset it by 1500 and it came to this position and then when i started offsetting 750 from here my last trust just before the gitter came just let's just see what this is this is about um 355 from the hip the initial hip kidder which is in white so this is fairly too close and it's 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 costly to be put in trusses at such small distances because also you also you, you have to see that when your distance increases that means less trusses right so that's more economical for the client so we don't it doesn't really make financial sense to be put in you know two trusses much closer to each other like this and also it's it's actually better if this kid moves um more or further away from the walls as opposed to much closer to the walls so it's better for this to come much in more in or much closer to this than for it to go further to the right so what we're going to do is we just going to have to delete the white line so yeah we deleted the white line so we delete the white line here as well so since this is so symmetrical what you have to do is just come in as well get there and then you come there as well and then uh, you just mirror that all right so this automatically becomes the hip gitter and as i told you if a truss carries a lot of load then you just come in offset that by 50 okay and what you do is you offset it going back and then you offset it going back but then also when it comes to these two trusses as soon as you meet the peak of the roof right oh wait let me just let me just check the time let me just check the time so we're running on 10 minutes i think for the next step we got to do it in another video so thank you for staying tuned this is 1810 i gotta be out by 1830 so let's just do the final video and finish up on this if we don't we have to finish it at home and uh, the voice would have changed but yo guys let's just do this thank you for tuning in i'm definitely gonna finish this in the next video we continue this in the next video so thanks for tuning in and yo guys if you're new to the channel please click the subscribe button like the video click the subscribe and uh please do check out my other videos on the playlist how do you design a roof and yo we're definitely doing this because the end goal is we need to do tutorials on procom so please guys click on the subscribe button share this video like it and leave any comments in the box below for anything that you want me to do or improve on so yo homies thank you very much for tuning in adios